This is a video for parents or students who are unfamiliar with our language courses, but would like to use our free GCSE books during school closures. Our courses for GCSE are Stimmt for German, Viva for Spanish and Studio for French. They are available for both AQA and Edexcel, and there are separate foundation and higher books. There is one book to cover the whole GCSE course. The structure of all the books is the same. I'm going to talk you through Studio for Foundation Edexcel as an example. I'm going to refer to the chapters in the book as modules and the spreads within them as units. All our GCSE books are split into eight modules, which each cover a topic relating to the themes required by the GCSE. We would normally expect a school to take a half term to complete a module, and they would probably not be able to cover absolutely everything within the module, but should prioritise the core spreads. I'll come back to what we mean by that. We therefore expect them to have reached approximately the end of module five by May half term of year 10, leaving the last half term for skills work and exam style practice. Modules start with one or two point de départ units, which revise language related to the module topic, which students should have covered in key stage three. This is followed by the core units. They cover all four skills, listening, reading, speaking and writing, and the exercise number icons indicate which skill is being practiced. The unit's objectives are given at the top, and usually one relates to the new vocabulary or topic, and the second relates to the new grammar or skill being taught. All key language, the language with that we expect pupils to be able to use by the end of the unit, is given in these blue boxes. It is introduced usually with a listening exercise to model pronunciation, and the unit then works through the four skills, finishing with a longer speaking or writing exercise. The key grammar point is given in a green box like this one, and again, it will be practiced throughout the unit. Audio is available for all listening exercises. Simply click on the blue hotspot to open the audio player. This also contains a link to the transcript, which opens in a Word document. Each module has four or five core units. These are the units in which new vocabulary and grammar will be introduced. The units which follow do not introduce new language, so can be left out if time doesn't allow. Each module has three units of exam style practice. The first focusing on listening and reading, the second on speaking, and the third on writing. Following this, there is a vocabulary page with audio, summarizing the key language learned in the module. At the back of the book is a revision section with two pages of revision exercises for each module. This is followed by some sample questions to help students prepare for the general conversation part of the speaking exam. There is then a page per module of self-access activities called atois in the French book. These contain reading and writing exercises only and are designed for students to work through independently, making them particularly useful for current circumstances. Finally, at the back of the book, you'll find some reference sections consisting of grammar summaries and verb tables. Finally, I just wanted to run through the bot buttons at the bottom and the functionality for students. They can annotate their active books like this, make notes like this, zoom in and out like this, and to navigate, either open the contents list and click on the relevant page or type the page number required into the box and press return.